So you would think more people would be talking about the fact that the upcoming Spider-Woman film has more or less been confirmed that is going to be a connective bridge between Sony's Spider-Verse and the MCU directed by Olivia Wilde. So recently, EW had an interview with Olivia Wilde, and she was talking about her career, what she's gonna be doing, and of course, we know that she's been attached to direct the upcoming Spider-Woman film, which there's still a lot of mystery in regards to what exactly this thing is, what it's going to connect to, and who is behind it. There has been a lot of speculation that it is going to be a MCU film, but also a joint project between Sony Sony and Disney that further makes their relationship a little better. And of course, this was teased in the past by Josh Gad and Olivia herself. And now she has an interesting quote, which I'm going to read to you. And I quote, All I can say is that this is by far the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me. Because not only do I feel like I get to tell a story that dot dot dot, God, listen. Listen to me trying to avoid, like, Kevin Feige's pellet gun. Again, she right then and there confirms that she's talking with Kevin Feige, that she's got to dodge all the questions because she can't say anything, because again, if Marvel Studios is involved, you gotta have the most secrecy you can possibly have. If you look at the Sony side of things, they're usually like, sure, go ahead, start talking about this. Get the hype going, we want people to be aware of this. And again, this all stems back to when we first heard the rumor that she was going to be attached and people started to really talk about it and it definitely seemed like Marvel Studios was going to be involved. And then you look at the date that they set for that movie at the time. It was also a date that was going to have a Marvel movie release on it by Marvel Studios. So they were going to release a Sony Marvel film and a Marvel Spider film at the same time. No, that wasn't going to happen on the same date since again, there working together so again more and more evidence that this is happening now of course what the next step is and you know when does this get off the ground how does this bridge the gap between what Sony is doing with Marvel Studios and that partnership that, of course, they went back to the drawing board with? And does this further confirm those rumors that Spider-Woman was going to be introduced in the upcoming third Spider-Man film and then spin off of that? And maybe this sort of makes sense on why we're waiting so long to hear any of the castings for the upcoming third film, because they want to drop all the info at once, which would honestly make sense. So... Yeah, looks like Spider-Woman is in pretty good hands, all things considered. <laughs>